our wonderful show. He says, she says, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, he, he says, says, she, she says. says. Where we talk about life stuff. Yes, and I'm Joe Van, and I'm a speaker, trainer, coach, author of an upcoming book, and a host of the podcast, The Possibility Show. And I am Denise Wong, your boring employee. <gasps> Ta! Okay. All right. Cool. So for this episode. It's draw time, right? We're gonna talk about. Da, 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 da. Ding ding! Ring a dear love you, sir. You never find. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really need to sleep eight hours a day? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's our topic of the episode. Do we really need. Okay, I don't know. You can go first. Okay. Um, interesting. Uh, my, my point, uh, my take on this is that you don't. Uh, six, seven hours is enough uh, as long as you have enough rest throughout the day. Like you are not like fully like on the go uh, the whole day. Okay. And in fact, I heard, uh, so I love listening to podcasts as well, other people's podcasts, and I heard someone, uh, his theory is that we if you combine eight hours eight hours eight hours right so that's in total how many eight hours is that in a in a week so maybe <laughs> my mom slap the shit out of me because i forgot my timetables <laughs> maybe rough, roughly um his theory is that roughly 50 to 56 hours uh, so it's a combined combined if you can have that amount of sleep in a week oh, okay. then it's actually fine let's say for example one day you only sleep four hours then another day you sleep five hours but uh, the whole week if you combine everything it's still around 50 hours then it's you're gonna be functioning quite well okay yeah what's your take on that i don't need to sleep eight hours a day because i need 10 hours a day <laughs> <laughs> but the thing i realize is at okay so i think the the question should be first first you have to ask yourself at what at what state do you want to perform of course if you sleep if i sleep six hours five hours a day i can perform i can function function I can function. But if you want to perform at a peak state or a sparkling state, I call it sparkling because when I sleep 10 hours, if I sleep um, 8 hours a day for 3 consecutive days, I can feel my brain is fizzing. Mm. It's very clear, very, very sharp. Mm. Yeah. Whereas when I sleep like 6, six, six hours, I can function, it's not an issue, but your brain is a bit fuzzy. Mm -hmm. It's like a dust walls inside. That's how mm -hmm. I feel. Mm -hmm. So for me, yeah, and I and I read a report somewhere. Okay, I have no idea where I read this. Okay, I collect information, but other people collect stems and I forget where they come from. <laughs> <laughs> but I read somewhere that uh, it contrary to the podcast that you were listening to, yeah. um, if let's say you sleep let's say lack of two hours today the next day in, in and if you continue doing this for let's say three four days and it comes to the weekend you will need to sleep more than the lack of hours that you had during the week itself mm -hmm. which means let's say for example five work days you every day you use less than seven hours seven hours yeah so let's say like a one hour per, per, per day per day so that's five hours right then over the weekend you need to sleep for more than five hours to make up for that mm -hmm. yeah Ooh. I, I don't know but, but I don't... yeah i mean it, it sounds like the same as what i heard from the podcast it's like it to, to add everything in total per week and then you but you need to sleep more than that yeah yeah, yeah. oh you need to sleep more yes than more that. than ah. that if let's say you do it consecutively for a few days oh, okay then so so the study that i read was that the longer you go with deficit in sleep hours the more hours you have the more extra hours you have to sleep mm. on top of those deficit hours mm. yeah but there's another study what there was this guy is it that that does napping so he doesn't sleep yeah he naps it's yeah. like a cat nap all the time yeah but yeah, yeah. it's a very specific timing and for very specific yeah hours exactly so so the the podcast that i heard uh was saying the same thing so you count everything even even the naps yes. you know, the, the short power minutes, naps yeah 
and between how many minutes or how uh, net one to net two how many hours can you go and things mm. like that because he was saying, uh, because uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, he's a writer. Um, he's also understanding your body, and uh, he would have the best times to write in the middle of the night mm. when everyone is sleeping because it's very quiet. Uh, so what he does is he would have this the whole day kind of like blank moments. Oh. So he would just like sit in front of the window and then just do nothing, and he probably take naps and all this. And then in the middle of the night, then he starts writing and then probably take a nap again. So he sleeps very kind of like short in periods of time, but the whole day he would have a lot of rest. Oh, so that's what he was uh, saying. And he, it his, works for him. he works for him. So I, I guess it's all about understanding yourself as well. Try your, it out. Your, your body. But I think if you're a boring employee like me, right? You cannot try out. Can you imagine? You, tell, oh, you go yeah. to the office and then after that, because uh, between each nap, you count specific hours, right? It's not by timing one. Okay, so from nap one to nap two, you need six hours. So imagine after that, you reach office, okay? <laughs> 11 a.m., you tell your boss, I need to take a nap, half an hour. You think your boss will let you? No. So <laughs> it, it only works for people who have freedom of their own time, I think, mm, to try. I did think about that's, trying. That's that. true, that's true, that's true. Um, one of the, the, the job that I got uh, before, I had a colleague after lunch so he uh i was i was quite new in this company by the way so he was my senior we go out for lunch then he would be always rushing oh, and then so come, back go the, come back to the come back to the desk and then sleep and so i was like wow he can just like go lie down and sleep like that <laughs> i think by the time i fall asleep it's t our lunch always out already I yeah think by I you know i i'm always amazed by these people who can just yeah. sleep instantly yeah, I, and I, I would be turning around like for 30 minutes to one hour before I fall asleep. Especially if it's in the environment where you don't feel at ease. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So, so kudos to those people. <laughs> My husband is one of them. Yeah, it's a, a superpower, by the way. Yeah, like within really five seconds, it's gone. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay. so that's, that's my take on that. Okay, I think that's about it. Do we... So question is, do we really need to sleep 8 hours a day? I think it depends on yourself. Depends on you. I need 10 hours. 6 hours, 7 hours, I'm good. <sighs> I die. Okay. <laughs> and I think that's the end of it for us. Yeah. Okay, bye! Bye! Oh.